Good afternoon, good afternoon. Welcome to Smoke Pot and Balance Kitchen. Once again, you're here with your boy Smoke Pot. As you know, I'll be showing you my ways of cooking, I'll be traveling, and also getting you involved in, in everything that I do. Please subscribe, share, and like, and make a comment. All right, subscribe, share, and like. Today, I'm in beautiful, beautiful tropical Jamaica, wherein it's warm, the beach is nice and everything. You still got a social distance, but I'm trying to have a good time here. After my quarantine, which was not too nice. So I'm here now preparing to do some fish that I'll be doing to take back with me. Now you might be wondering why I take back um, fish with me, but let me explain. These fish were caught in a place called we got it at Old Arbor, and it was basically, it wasn't a market, it was the fishing village. So these fish came straight from off the boat. So it's completely different than the fish that we're used to back in the States. Right now, I'll be showing you exactly how I go about seasoning my fish. Firstly, I'm gonna use a little Mrs. Dash, about one teaspoon of Mrs. Dash, okay? I'll also add, some fish season. You might be wondering why I don't just use the fish season. Basically, because the flavor I'm looking for, it's much more than just the fish season. All right, and I put a teaspoon and a half. I use some all purpose. I use half teaspoon. And I use also some chicken season. And I put an extra half teaspoon there. It helps with the color and everything. I also use some black pepper. I put those all together like so and then i'm good to go all right i didn't put any powdered garlic because we didn't know season there's garlic in it all right you get your fish i already diced them there's they've been cooked in um they've been properly cleaned and i put a slit on them but they're extremely clean i wash them with salt vinegar and all of that so now i go on the inside i will put some season on the inside i rub it in i, I don't just sprinkle it like those master chef do um, that's master chef style Jamaican style we rub the seasoning and we rub it in nicely we make it really soak on it turn the other side and you do the same thing you go inside the groove you rub it in you sprinkle it and then you rub it in all right and you do that with all the fishes you have here I have a grunt um, the one I did first that was called a parrot fish so I'm gonna be doing them dried fry I'm gonna fry them dry and I'm doing it the authentic way. So I'll be putting them on the cold stove. Okay, I'll be putting them on the fire outside the cold stove. And you'll be seeing me doing that in just a second after I finish seasoning these. So guys, enjoy. So as I said to you guys before, we're gonna be frying the fish, but the very authentic way. We're gonna be using the cold stove. As you can see, I've set up the cold stove, a very nice one right here. So, and my pot is here with the oil boiling. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna have some some onions to the oil, add green stuff on the pepper also. It just gives flavor and also keeps on any type of smell, you know, keep it somewhat oil and some garlic. Okay, now after you get the proceed to add your fish, seasoned fish to the oil, all right? So you slowly place them. That is a carrot. This is what they call a grunt. This is a nice, nice part. And you're going to use those three because they are going to be two. And you leave them to fry maybe for about five minutes on one side and about five minutes on the other side. And then that will be good for that. So I can smell the aroma and everything looking good. So now I've turned my fish and as you can see there are some very lovely dark brown to them. So um, basically they are now finished. I'll show you what it looks like on my plate and I'll be taking a small taste. Okay so as I said this is fried fish the authentic style and I've got roast breadfruit with it and I also have some um, avocado. All right, I'll be taking a little taste right now. As usual, you know, I always taste for you guys. So.
It tastes so much different from back in the States. It's, it's, it's fluffy, it's, it's nice, it's juicy. All the seasoning, everything is great. So remember, snow, Snow Pack and Balance Kitchen. We're here, traveling the world, sharing with you how we cook and what we cook. And remember, share, subscribe, and like. Share, subscribe, and like. Love you, peace out, bless.